Welcome everyone's favorite Dragon Mart. It's time for some more Street Fighter 6. And in this episode, we will be moving on in the world tour to defeat more of this crazy mode as I'm looking at this uh, new uh, content that Street Fighter 6 has. It's been an interesting game, but I haven't done enough of this game myself, especially not enough of the PvP modes, which we will be getting into, as well as arcade. I haven't done enough arcade either mode. There's a lot of things I just haven't done enough of in Street Fighter VI, and we will be continuing up this crazy tower to face off the mad challengers of the Crow's Nest. Um, getting up here is pretty rough, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, so we're going to start with that axe kick. I uppercut mainly at, to think that he was going to jump, as the AI likes to jump. Um, this is not always also not only not a good strategy here, but can also be a problem in other games whereby jumping is a lot more liked and used and anti-air is not so much uh mortal Kombat being one of those games um there is a lot of jumping and a lot of air combos in mortal Kombat to the point where i need to start learning more of these air combos on jumping opponents i have to train myself to do that um, I'm trying to get to the top because I have been struggling to get to the top of this tower this entire time, um, with some lag with this, uh, I do appreciate the good stuff the, that I do with Elder Scrolls Online, the good word with that, because... That game, I've invested more in Elder Scrolls Online than I have in Street Fighter and a lot of other games lately. I've really been putting in the the work with Elder Scrolls Online, and I will be putting in more work soon. Uh, okay, good. Good crosscut TP. I do question the double tatsu because they seem to be using block more. Throw spam. Also has it. Kind of just uppercutted that. But it, it's hard to predict when they're going to jump. But there's the crosscut DP. There we go. So, at this point, you might be like, how does this stuff get more refined? Well, it most definitely does. Uh, And, um... Can only use that item in battle. So a lot of these items I'm looking for any backup items. So since we don't really have any items to back up and I don't know the farming strategy that's necessary to actually get all these items. So we end up going into this battle with basically no items. So that's going to be fun. So it's time to challenge Rudra in a team battle. Both team battles are ready to fight. And only two of them look on my team, actually three, including me, look kind of ready to fight this you're gonna last can't we see how the finals play out cool let's get the show on the road no matter who wins this thing no hard feelings let's get this let's see who's gonna rep metro city look at that crazy chain he's got all right and these guys on my team are under leveled this is not good Thrasher is just barely high enough level for this. That is not good. Oh, there's the info tuber. The vegetable has made it. The vegetable 
Say hello to Metro City's best. What's up, freaks? Yes, the vegetable has made it to the top for some reason. All right. Let's get this show on the road. What do you mean I won't regret picking you? From memory, you were actually a problem. The crows? Freaking sweet. She probably is going to do better. I have some faith in Thrasher Damned. Shandy. It's the first round. Give him hell. Let's get the first. Let's get this show on the road. All right. Oh, she got a weird pose. All right. Domini versus Crows Corbu. All right. AI versus AI. Both are level 30. Come on, Corbu. Oh, hell yeah. Drive in pack counter. Let's go. Good drive in pack, Domini. Give him the. Give him the guts. Yeah, get him in the guts. Knock him into the air with a bit of lag or significant lag, more like. Yeah, grab him. Bite him. Bite him. Rip his face off. Yeah, there's a crane in the back. There's Hagger Stadium in the background. Yeah, get that lightning in there. Come on. Come on. Show me your stuff. Yeah, Blanca ball in there. Come on. We're, we're getting serious now. Come on. Rip him apart. Yeah, I got that. Good combos. Good combos. I'm glad I chose Damini. Damini is, is doing her, her stuff. All right. That's what I, re that's what we more, we need more warriors like Damini. Come on, Damini. Come on. Yeah. Get him. Hell yeah. Wasn't even close. Let's go. Let's get it. She's a wild woman. All right. She's got the physique, the looks and the ferocity I need. She's got it all. All right, Thrasher. Let's see what you got. The winner, Mad Gear. Shiny here. Next round. Let's see. Mad Gear Elisa versus Crow. W Crow's Wooa. Wooya. I think this one isn't great. Because Elisa, I think get zoned by knives and doesn't counter properly. She doesn't bring her weapons either. She jumps into it, jumps right into the fire, into the knives. Like, come on, man. And the other one's uh, two levels down, and then she jumps right into there, and then she just punches weakly, keeps getting hit by the knives and the bottle. She has no projectiles, no proper dash. She keeps hitting the object. Yeah, this this is what I meant. Yeah. Wasn't even close. Crow's Wooya got a perfect. So bad. That wasn't good. Why did why did we pick her? Why? I don't know. The crows emerged victorious. Thrasher damned. All right, what do we got? Okay, Shandy versus Thrasher. Let's pray to the divines. Oh, no. Thrasher's a level down? Oh, nice grab. Nice grab, Thrasher. Get some damage. Yeah, damage. He's pouncing in. He will for the upper, but that was too slow. Oh, there we go. Come on. That was almost good. Oh, he avoided the knife. Good. Good. Oh, he has a knife. He's got a wrench. He put a wrench in the plan. Yeah. Now, come on. You could have blocked that. Come on. Throw another wrench. Come on, Thrasher. That was a bad whiff on your wrench. Oh, nice. Nice uppercut. Come on. Come on. Get her. Do it. Come on. You can do better than that. Come on, Thrasher. Come on. You could have had some more levels, too. That would have helped. The fact you're only level 35 is not helping your case. Come on. 
Oh, you ran right into that knife. Why'd you do that? Come on, Thrasher. Show some more weapon proficiency. You're a mob boss. There you go. Land of the wrench. Come on. Oh, his crabs are so slow. Come on. You can do it. No. Come on, Thrasher. Thrasher. Good good block, Thrasher. Good block. You got to block more. If you're going to be this slow. There you go. Good defense. Come on. Throw the wrench. Yeah. There we go. Now come in. And here. Okay, at least you got over the knife. Come on. Oh, come on. You could have blocked that. If you're going to be this slow, block some more. Like, where are the block? Here we go. Block. Hey, there it is. Throw a knife. Hey, the wrench. Let's go. Let's go. Blow her up. Hell yeah. Blow her up. All right. So two out of three. Let's get it. All right. Let's lay this out. Whatever the score ends up being this team, if I end up losing, I won't be able to claim the city rep. Same as you, yeah? So this is hell with shades of gray. All right. Now, this is a tough fight. Because Rudra imitates Doll Sim. That's right. That's right. He imitates Doll Sim, which is one of the things that made him me make a lot of... Oh, he got some good anti-airs in here, see? And he's got some good ranged poke. I made a lot of mess up with the lag in this, and he doesn't take much damage. And, yeah, I... I barfed this pretty hard in the beginning, but I think I I think I bring this back. This was not an easy fight, by the way. This is probably the hardest fight of the bunch. Like if I got to fight the rest of them, that wouldn't be the problem. But in this case, trying to and he has got he's got limbs that stretch across the whole screen. It's not like he's just throwing a knife. He's throwing lit, like stuff across the whole screen with lag. Like I remember it was lagging too. And he takes almost no damage. So, yeah, this was actually a lot harder than it looks. Like a lot harder. Like even with a punish counter cuz you have to get up in him and even with an uppercut. Like look how little damage he deals. Let's see if we can get a throw grab. Oh, he threw a throw of his own what? Yeah. Yeah. Like, I'm I'm freaking out about this because, like, this is not easy. This fight is really hard. So I decided to change it up. And here's the thing. I have a higher level than him. But it doesn't matter because he's got a better, he's got a better setup that I have to counter. But I have to beat him regardless. Because I don't want him representing that. We get the sweep. He shimmies. I get a, a crouching punch. He goes for that. Okay, I'm gonna avoid jumping. Get a fireball on him. Here we go. Try to try to punish him from range. Try to punish a limb. Block that. Tatsu under him because he keeps floating. There we go. Get an uppercut. Come on. Because this was hard. This was both embarrassing and hard. And he has these really big flaming, flaming, uh, foot, so he puts his flame breath way up in the sky. This was really hard. And he, like, checks everything with those limbs of him. At, at, with lag, by the way. So I get a sweep, though. Trying to uppercut him out of the sky. This was actually really hard, by the way. Like, genuinely. And he... Okay, there we go. Check him with the punch. Grab him. All right. Yeah, this was really hard. There we go. EX Tatsu. 
Th- this was genuinely nightmarish, trying to get him out of the air with these uppercuts. Like, I remember how hard this was. Because I, and here we go, we get the chain throw. But we got to keep him cornered. Like with the uh, combatant fight, I feel like, there we go, get a tattoo, mix him up. There we go, get some throws. Because the throws will help counter his insane defense, both how much damage he takes. Tatsu into him. Here we go. Throw into Tatsu seems to be the better method. We can zone him a bit with, with, with fireballs, but the problem is is going in and staying in his face is probably the better move because he's always going to do better at range. Right? He's always going to do better at range. So we've got to kind of rush him down. And that's how we're going to get him roasted. At least I don't have to use potions in this. Get some crouching heavy punches. Not bad. I didn't get that block right. Correct. Okay, got some fireballs. Unfortunately, his limbs have the same range as my fireball, which makes him... Okay, we're punish countering him with the fireball. Okay, there we go. Get some punish counters. There we go. Jumping heavy punch. Axe kick. Try to get him when he's crouching. Get some fireballs in there. Oh, no. I'm going to fry you. You think you think this is the end? Nah, man, nah. Gonna block that. Gonna try to punish you. Try to get you into the air so that I can uppercut you. Because that's when you're free to get hit. There we go. Got a fireball with the punish counter. Now he's blocking the fireballs. Okay, this isn't good. Block that. Yeah, this this was a very annoying fight for memory, like. Dalsim is not a joke, and he's massively a nuisance, even as an AI. Like he is just annoying. Say, and he can punish your your moves with the limb, because you gotta you gotta try to punish the limb. Say, try to punish counter those. All right, got him in a bit of a pattern. He's getting close. I don't like that. Or maybe I should like that, because that's where... Okay, we're counter-hitting him with the fireball. He goes with his fireball. He's trying to get patient. Trying to be patient here. Because we have all the time. Oh, he went for the that. This isn't good. This is not good. Block that. There we go. Punish counter, heavy punch. Get a drive rush. Fireball. This is getting very tense. Tatsu into his face. This isn't good. This is not good. This this could be this could be the end. This was very, very tense. I don't even remember how Okay, heavy punch. Heavy punch. Crouching heavy punch. He seems to have a weakness, the crouching heavy punch. They got him. Got him. Just. <laughs> that was not easy. I could have punished him more in other ways, but yeah, for memory, it was really hard. Can't believe you lost. Yeah, I can't believe it either because you had all sorts of zoning and craziness. The words of the crows. Now get your butt to Nashal. Yeah, we got to go to Nashal to face the uh, most devastating. Yes, level up. All right, it's time to go to Nashal to face the the showdown of the ages. Yeah, this was very hard. 
But at least we got a le level up off it, so. This was one of the many level ups I had. Get down that ladder. Where are we going? And yes, it was lagging this much when I was recording it, I think. The game was literally, I think, maybe not quite this much, but I definitely remember it was, it had issues with that. I don't know why. It, it doesn't lag this much anymore. It, 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 there's no latency in this now. They've reworked it, but when I did this, it did. So... Kind of like what happened with Diablo 4. They've improved it a lot, but in its early phase, it wasn't that... It still had lag issues. There we go. Took him out. Gotta talk to Punch in the lowlands. Gotta take a punch to the gut. And take a low low blow. We gotta start to go with low blows. Getting out of here is gonna be hard. Right. Getting off this building. There's a lot of basketballs up here. Wonder if those owners were looking for those basketballs in the concrete jungle. I don't really want to think about what would happen if I lost that. Probably have to just try again. That's how it is with this game. If you lose, you try again. Running out of continues though. We nearly had a flirt we had a we had a very close call with having to run out of a, with run out of continues when it came to the cardboard combatant. There is a very real chance that if I didn't figure out or look learn how to what to do with the guy he would have finished off all my continues. Because you basically have to use what he's weak to, because otherwise he'll just keep exploiting you. The cardboard combatant's the worst. Probably one of the worst. Other than the last boss. He's up there with the last boss. The last boss, though, in a way is worse because he shows up again, even in the PvP section. Deal with Crow's Kara. Try to deal with them. Overcut. Throw them. Get Crow's car out of here. Cross cup DP, let's go. I like how I'm playing better now after that. It gave me a lot of inspiration. There we go. Get the right pattern. There we go. Another uppercut because he keeps jumping. Train him not to jump. There we go. That's what we want. Boom. It's still not enough to get what I need. I need level 50, I'm pretty sure. At least we get another rank up. We gotta keep fighting, though. Because there's a Nashal tournament coming up. And uh, at the time, I was very cautious about it. Because I'm like, Nashal tournament? That means we're going to need some levels again. And I still don't have enough levels for very specific purposes that I have to go farming for. But the first levels I really wanted to farm for after a while lately has actually been Elder Scrolls Online. 
because Elder Scrolls Online for me is the next big thing. Well, it, it was one of the old. It wasn't the, one of the traditional games, but it was also a game that's evolved a lot, and really all the potential has just come out of the game. And that's made me want to play it so much more than even Street Fighter. It, it's become my new obsession is Elder Scrolls Online. That's the deal. That's why I was so keen on trying to get all those levels and such. Because it's become my next big obsession. Straight up. By Lady Crow. To deal with this drone. Get the drones out of here. Generally speaking, uppercutting a lot works versus drones because they just stay in the sky a lot. That's like the whole thing that drones do. And we have to make our way towards Libra. The battle against fair Libra. All right, there we go. Fireball. Get an axe kick. Uppercut. I was going to try to parry that. Drive rush it. Okay, neutral heavy cut punch. I was expecting her to jump again. Okay, she went for the anti-air that time. Okay, I mistimed my uppercut. Block that. Oh, that could have been such a good... Okay, hard knockdown. Got a block there. There we go, punish counter. There we go, got a fireball. Her face, not bad. Fair Libra still needs more. Punish counter. That. Fireball that. She pops that. Get that crosscut DP because she keeps jumping. There we go. EX Tatsu. Let's go. We did it. We did it. All right. So we got that. So we're going to keep going. I did check my volume because I've had this was where I made a mistake before. Yeah, let's let's get them. 
I think the remainder of this is me trying to level up to 50 before going to Nashal tournament. I think this was my main intention here. Grab him with that counter. Ooh, that did some spicy damage. Gonna fireball that corner cutter. Oh, that 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 uppercut. If that connected, it would have been already over. All right, at least we punched him in the face. When in doubt, punch him in the face. Jab him in the face or medium punch him. It's a lot of stylish graffiti. Some posters. Let's see what we got. Come on, Crocus. Let's pound you in the face. Oh, good Tatsu. Destruction is overhead. Let's go to beat square, I guess. I still... I'm trying to prepare in this situation for the next tournament. The tattoo takes nearly your entire life bar and the fireball takes the rest of it. Fried. So the question is, where are we going to go? Or when are we going to go back to Nashal is the question. That is the only question that remains. Let's fight Jesus. <laughs> or Jesus. Alright. Jesus is down. But at least I believe that's how that version is pronounced. Fight. I mean, I, I'm not sure because I haven't been doing much Spanish stuff lately. I probably should get back into that so I can learn it again, like more in depth, both uh, knowing the language better and knowing pronunciation. Do with Kenneth. Yeah, there's a lot of brawls that happen before we fight the big guy. And you'll all recognize him when you see him. Everybody who plays online will know who this guy is and they will hate him. <laughs> unless they're playing him or unless they have like a specific like reason to like him. I mean, maybe some of them will like him, but a lot of people don't like him. He's not popular in terms of, in certain ways, like, I think this is a Manon player. Yeah, the pose is very Manon. Manon. There we go. Kick her butt. Come on.
Now here we go, this is better. Gotta take out Madre and Mad Gear Bull. Oh yeah, we're we're taking on our own team as well. There we go. Get some XP. Because, yeah, that was my goal. My goal was trying to... Ooh, some woman in a business suit. Good at teching. Definitely good at teching. That's even there. Try to cross-cut her DP. She goes in. I get the uppercut. There we go. How long is it going to take? I mean, I get the uppercut with forward down, forward punch. Although you can also get it with forward and punch, I think. Because World Tour uses modern controls. Modern controls can also use the classic input. Modern controls complicates the issue for me because... My mind is used to doing forward, down, forward, punch, and is used to doing quarter circle, forward, punch for those motions. It's used to doing the regular Street Fighter because I used to play Street Fighter 4 and such. Like, I used to play those games. Chewy goodness. Classic donut. That's the donut does a lot of regen. Although it's not as much now because our health bar is bigger, but at this time it was. The Tatsu nearly takes out Richard in one go. I bet I could one shot Richard now. Not just like a fireball and a Tatsu, but like just the Tatsu or just the fireball. That's how far we've gone from this point. So, I'm trying to decide what I want to do here. Alright, well, we were going to fight Brett. Brett, we're going to block Brett, crouching punch, fireball, he's done. Yep. That used to be kind of a fair battle at one point, but we're we have upgraded to the point where our just our our raw stats like with that tatsu. Our raw stats gonna fight Andrew again. Very similar outcome. He didn't get anything off either. Mime is getting hype out of this. Like and subscribe. We will be seeing you later in the next episode to go further.